Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you the Elegoo Saturn 3. Not the Ultra, just the standard Saturn 3. Really excited to be reviewing this for you guys and showing you what it can do. And a special thanks goes out to AMS, to Bernard from AMS, and to Jamal from Elegoo for setting this up and getting this to me so that I can actually do a review for you guys. Super excited to be here showing you this machine. It is actually next level. I am so blown away by this machine and I love this machine. So AMS, AMS is a, a company based in Johannesburg. They sell a ton of different machines. If you look on their website over here, AMS, they do 3D printing, they do 3D scanners, they sell 3D printers, they, they sell services like 3D scanning, 3D printing, all that sort of thing. And they sell machines from base models right up to super huge industrial models that can print a bumper of a car in one shot. So they are going to be the official distributors of Elegoo in South Africa. They are on the Elegoo site. You can go check out Elegoo on there and you can see that AMS is on there. And uh, this is their website. They're selling the Elegoo. They're going to be selling the Neptune 4, the Elegoo Saturn, the Elegoo Saturn 3 Ultra and so on. So they've got quite a few new machines in there and then they've got some of the older ones as well. They've even got food machines. One that can, you can use to, to print food, which is quite incredible. Uh, if you look on their website over here, they've got a huge variety of machines uh, everywhere from, from things. They also do filament. They design their own filament. So a great company. Go check out AMS and uh, go ch chat to Bernard. A uh, really great guy. Great bunch of people. Yeah, so the Saturn III machine is really a big machine. You can see by the size of it, it's got a decent build volume. One of the standout features of the machine is, of course, it has got a 12K 10-inch screen on it which is mind boggling and it really, you know, to have a 12K screen and that shows in the prints when you print out. Your prints are exquisitely detailed and really print out beautifully. The layout of the machine is quite simple and one of the key features that it had, does not have that the Ultra has is the wireless connectivity. So you can connect via your Wi-Fi and do your prints via Wi-Fi. Unfortunately with this machine, it is straight USB only. So you slice your, your model on Cheetah Box push it into the side here and away you go. That is one of my pet peeves with the machine. One of the few peeves. Why put the USB port on the side? I've created an enclosure for it and it's very difficult for me to get it inside the side here. So it's a little bit of a, an awkward spot. I don't understand why it's not on the front of the machine. Being on the front would make it a lot simpler. So yeah, for me, that was a bit of a pet peeve. There's a power brick for it. It comes with quite a decent sized power brick and that plugs into the back very, very neatly. Most of your controls are on the front. You've got your power button here, which is a big power button. And then you've got your screen, which is a small little screen, does what it's supposed to do. It will show you a preview of a print. So when you start a print, you can see a preview of it. And it will show you each layer as they are printing. It shows you the layer. Now, the box. There's another nice feature that I really like about it. At the back of the box here, we've got a port where you can put an air filtration system to pull the air out. Uh, through a through a filtration system. Okay, yeah, the smell the smell is, is something to get used to. This is this lives in my workshop, which is a lot easier. For a resin printer, this has got quite a generous build volume. As you can see by the vat here, the resin vat is quite large, which fits nicely over that 10 inch screen. So your build volume is about 218 by 122 by 250 high, which gives you quite a decent build volume. You can put a lot of stuff on there or you can print out a big model all at once which is really useful and really enjoyable. This machine has about double the size of the screen that I had on the LD002R that I previously reviewed on this channel. So it's quite a lot bigger. The bed leveling is super simple. You've got these two huge screws over here, which you loosen and that will level it. You put a piece of paper in between or a leveling card, put that in between and press it down nice and tight and you tighten up those two screws and you get a nice level bed. It's got this huge nut on the top here, which is really useful for taking this off. It keeps your hand away from the resin. I find that I only put one glove on instead of two and it saves on mess. It does not mess a lot. It's a lot easier to handle, uh, to hold this and to have that strength to handle while you're trying to get your prints off. Talking about trying to get your prints off, it's got a good adhesion to the base. That does take a little bit of prying and a little bit of energy to get it out. 
but it's got two linear screws as well as you can see there which makes the drive really neat and consistent and works well works smoothly and gives you those neat consistent prints it's got a fresnel collimating light source at the bottom which is your ultraviolet light source powerful light that gets distributed perfectly through a fresnel lens and then gives you that clean crisp print that helps with the printing it's got this laser engraved pattern on here which is, which is pleasing to the eye it does seem to work i haven't had a problem with any prints coming loose it, it sticks well and the prints are actually really consistent and i haven't had a failure yet the printer comes with a voxel dance license the software to in order to slice these things i'm using cheetah box at the moment you can use cheetah box i haven't played with voxel dance over here we've got an interesting addition this is a air filter which will draw air through a little fan in here that's run via a USB plug, draws the air in and pushes it out of the top here, filtered, circulating inside here. And I will tell you that with the lid on, it keeps the smell contained. There is not much of leakage of smell, so that is kind of nice. I still would print this in another location, not in my office here. I'd rather take it across to my workshop and print there because the smell when you take the little the whole room floods with the smell not nice but this little addition here seems to work quite nicely the only criticism i've got about it is the usb port it's got just a little usb port on the side here that's all that's supporting it so it's very wonky it'd be nice if there were some support pins to hold it in place but it works well the air filtration system works well i've got no other complaints about it and it does contain the smell Apparently the Ultra has got two USB ports so that you can put two filters on to even further filter the air. But I find that this works really well and actually really impressed with it. So let's get to some of the prints. Now I printed off a Mario set. I put them all onto one build plate and printed them off at one go. It took about eight hours to print and they came out really nice. The one thing I did find out, however, was when I had the, uh, the supports on the bottom here, which... I don't know how many supports I actually should have had on this, but because there were very few supports came off very, very easy. But when I had the supports in here, it sort of like warped the base a little bit of the feet. So I've got to play around with settings on that. So this is, uh, well, let's actually start with, with Mario. So this is Mario. And as you can see, he is very detailed. The print came out clean. The print came out beautiful. There's a lot of detail in the print. And that's one of the things about a resin printer. You've got tons of detail. There is just, it's oozing detail. Detail is everywhere. So really, uh, and also you can see the 12K resolution on this printer because it just prints so beautifully. I was really blown away by this print. Obviously the first print that I would have printed would have been the castle that came on the SD card because it's properly flashed for this here. I ran the castle, as you can see here, the, the details are absolutely exquisite. I had a bit of a problem with washing the resin off. I didn't wash all the resin off, so when I cured, it didn't cure quite as well as I was hoping to. But other than that, the quality of the print, the, the helix, the double helix that goes up the center is perfect. The lettering is beautiful. The detail is stunning. Really blown away by it, and I absolutely love it. There's Luigi. Luigi also came out absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of detail in the way it printed. There's no faults. There's no layer problems you really struggle to see layer lines on these prints. You have to go in so deep in order to see layer lines. Also printed out Toad. Toad came out beautiful. The detail in his backpack is absolutely amazing. And if you look at the fine detail on his hand, you'll see that it is incredibly fine. You can even kind of make out the fingernails. Really came out so nice, so clean, so detailed. Unfortunately, I broke off his pan. That's the thing about resin. It can be very, very, very brittle. The next thing I printed was a calibration cube. I wanted to check how well the calibration was. And when I measured it, it was exactly 20 millimeters across on the X, exactly 20 millimeters on the Y, but the Z was 19.25. So obviously I need to do a little bit of tuning in order to get the vertical resolution correct, but the X and the Y were spot on. So I'll play around with that and I'll figure out what I did wrong eventually and we'll get a 20 by 20 by 20 cube, which is important if you want to start printing practical parts. I want to get some ABS resin, see what else I can print with this machine and get those really practical parts. Of course, I had to print, print the Eiffel Tower because this is what I printed in my previous review of the LD002R. And my biggest point is at the top here, the fineness of the detail. 
I'll go and hunt out the original uh, uh, original tower that I printed on the LDO2R and I'll take two photos next to each other and I'll show you the detail. Well, you can see it in this photograph here. You can see the detail of the difference between the two prints, how much more detail the Eiffel Tower came out. And if you look at the Eiffel Tower, the print is exquisite. The detail is so fine all the way to the top of the tower. There's no holes that have had uh, resin bleed in there and, and block it up. So it came out absolutely beautiful, as you can see here. This machine is quiet. It's easy to use. It's a simple print. You just get started. You start printing and away you go. It'll start printing. I want to share a little tip here. When you are printing and you want to make sure that you have adhered to the base, there's a little trick that I use in order to check my print. If you press pause, it moves the build, build plate up into view and you can actually look on there and see if the part is adhered. So if there's been a problem with the adhesion and it didn't print it all at the bottom of the vat, you can stop your print early rather than wasting all that time getting that print out there. But you don't want to be sitting there for seven hours or 10 hours or 21 hours waiting for a print to run and then you haven't actually got anything on your build plate and you only see it when the build plate gets to this sort of height. So an easy tip, you just press pause, it lifts it up, you can have a look, you can press play, and it carries on printing perfectly. I did this with the Eiffel Tower, and there was zero flaws in my print at all. There's no, no conceivable way to see where I actually paused it. Guys, if you like this video, this is the end of it. Give me a like and a subscribe. I really need those subscribers to grow. I'm publishing videos, trying to publish every one or two weeks. I want to take care in giving you the best that I can. But if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I want to give special thanks to Michael again for his membership. Thank you so much, Michael. I really appreciate your membership. Another thing is I got a super thanks from Jesus. I really appreciate that, Jesus. Really, I can't tell you how much that lifted my spirits when I saw that super thanks come through. I really appreciate it. It was for the artillery firmware update. I wrote, I created that video. Jesus watched it. It helped him and he gave a super thanks. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for that super thanks. It really boosts my morale and gets me all excited again to do these videos. Guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I will see you soon. Stay well, stay blessed and be blessed. God bless you. See you soon. Cheers.